Hi, everyone. I'm Sarah. I'm the founder of Charity Shift. We are a fundraising consulting company that helps charities raise more money, specifically with individual donors and helping to build donor relationships in a sustainable way. One of the themes for this session is about tools that nonprofit organizations can use um, to create more impact in 2022. And that's what I'll be focusing on. So I've got just five minutes and one slide to tell you about my favorite tool, which is a fundraising and stewardship content calendar. It's something that we piloted with our charity partners in 2021, and it was by far the most popular tool we offered. Specifically, I want to share how to create and use a stewardship and fundraising content calendar to build donor relationships with your donors at all giving levels in a sustainable way. So essentially, it's a comprehensive month-by-month -month plan that's similar to a social media content calendar that you might already be familiar with. So why does this matter at this point in time? Well, the old way of thanking donors for their gift and then just adding them to your newsletter list just isn't going to cut it anymore. Our donors are expecting more from the charities that they support, but the charities don't necessarily have additional capacity to deliver experiences that donors deserve. And it is negatively impacting Canadian charities. For those of you in fundraising and those that keep track of donor retention rates, statistically less than half of the donors who gave to your organization in 2021 will give a donation again this year, less than half. And most organizations are spending significant time, money, and resources trying to find new donors to replace the ones who leave each year. But it doesn't have to be this way, and a lot of organizations are able to reverse this trend. By being strategic and planning in advance, you can increase your donor retention and increase your giving. It's challenging to know the best ways to connect with donors, how and when to ask for donations, and most importantly, finding the time to do it all. Creating the calendar early in the year, you'll be engaging with the donors that you already have, as well as being prepared for end of year fundraising season and other fundraising campaigns throughout the year. Using these calendars has led to increased revenue, strengthen relationships with donors at all giving levels, reduce the workload and stress for everyone involved in fundraising and communications at an organization. It's led to supporters, volunteers, and newsletter subscribers making their first gift. And it's encouraged current donors to repeat their giving year over year, as well as increase their donation amount, become monthly donors, or even become legacy donors. I wanted to share an example so that you can see what one of our partners is using this month to prioritize their donor stewardship. This is just a, a couple of things that you could potentially put into yours. So you'll note across the top, we've got the dates to note. These are certain dates in the month that might be impactful specifically for your audience. The priority for the month of what really needs to happen. Marketing and communication. So tasks that your marketing and communications department needs to be involved with that will impact donors, and then the specific tasks related to donor and supporters. Many of the great tools, tech, and trends that you're hearing about today can be incorporated into your plan, and this allows you to plot out exactly what needs to happen and when. We also create a list of donor touch points that happen outside of the usual ask and thank cycle most organizations are using. These are high impact, low resource actions you can take throughout the year to build relationships with your donors and keep them feeling connected, engaged, and inspired. Some of my favorite examples have been offering a behind the scenes tour of an organization, personalized thank you videos, pre-signed personalized cards, meaningful donor surveys, and valuable freebies like a guide to hikes in your local community um, or an emergency planning checklist. Again, the goal is really to provide value to your donor while keeping them connected.